this is a video on how to get your own domain name with WordPress for only the price of the domain name. So if you go to a domain registrar, such as GoDaddy, and you can type domain registrar in the search engine if you want to find something else. But I use GoDaddy for most of my websites, so I'm going to do this tutorial on GoDaddy. So right on the main page it says search for a new domain. You can type in whatever kind of name you want. Uh, it starts with .com, but you can also do .co, .info, whatever. If you're Canadian, I recommend doing .ca. Hit go. It says congratulations, it's available, if it is. Otherwise, it'll tell you who owns it and how much they want to rip you off in order to sell it to you. Uh, it says down here what the price is. .ca is $9.99 right now. It's on special. Typically, it's $13. Uh, you can also add d different ones if you're a business or something. You really, really want all of them. I wouldn't recommend getting all of them uh, if you're just a if you're just a tiny guy like me. So you can click Add, continue to check out, and uh, it'll ask you for your login information. Okay, after you've done that, it'll take you to this page here. It'll just have a .ca domain agreement. Uh, I don't think it has that for .com, but basically you just hit yeah, whatever, uh, registration link. I typically do just one year because that's the $10 price, otherwise it'll just, you know, it'll give you a bit of a discount on, on more years. Uh, they'll try to sell you on as much as they possibly can, so just ignore as much as you possibly can uh, and just keep hitting next. And it'll eventually bring you to a page to the checkout option where you uh, type in your master, your your credit card or PayPal information and, and pay for it. Um, but I'm going to use my own domain name that I've already purchased here. So basically, um, this is where you can administer your domains. Uh, after you've logged in, you'll have to see my account at the top. You click on that and you come to this page. Uh, you can see all your domains after you hit domains. Um, so I'm going to use Bear News right here. So I'll click launch. That'll bring up uh, this page here, and we're gonna we're gonna leave this alone for now, and we're gonna find a web host now for the domain. So I would recommend going to 000webhost.com. If you go to the page like this, it'll show you a page like this. And you can click sign up, and basically, you know, put in your domain name, your name, your email, your password, help Google translate books, and create your account. Um, once you've gone through that process, it'll come to a page like this, or if not, it'll be um, it'll show a list of domains, and you cl just click um, go to control panel. So here is where you want to get uh, this IP address here on the right side. So just copy that, go to GoDaddy, and under the DNS manager, click launch. So this, you're basically telling your domain registrar where you want your domain name to go. And this very first line right here, the A, name, A record or host, uh, it points to an IP address. So you want to edit that, delete whatever it has, and paste your new IP address. Save the zone file, and it'll let you know that it could take two days. So um, you can still uh, continue most of this process, but a lot of this you might not be able to finish until the domain registrar sends your uh, domain name to your new domain host. Okay, so to get WordPress, typically you can go down here to Software Services, click on Fantastico Auto Installer, and it'll show your uh, WordPress auto installation right here. I don't. It, it's not working right now for a 000 web host because they're upgrading it. But you can go to the home, WordPress homepage here and download WordPress. And if you're on a Mac, I think you have to download the .tar.gz. On a Windows, you can download the zip file. So that's downloading right there. Also. Um, 
if you want it, you can just continue the installation uh, with WordPress. It says they've created a handy guide. This is typically how I go through it too. Uh, things to know before installing, things you need. Uh, you do need an FTP client in order to do this. So you can click on the FTP client. I think they show you uh, different things that uh, you could get. Yeah, it says uh, how to use FileZilla. So you can click on FileZilla and download the FileZilla client. I think it will recognize whether or not you're a Mac or a Windows. So download the client. I already have it here. And again, yeah, you can go through the uh, Windows or the WordPress install or you can just follow along here. So here is the folder that we just extracted. Um, what you want to do is go to WP config sample, change it to just read WP config, and then edit it. So here's the editor here. Uh, go back to 000 webhost.com, uh, click go at the top or choose whichever domain name you're, you're editing. And you want to create a database. Now, I've already created two databases, and that's my limit here, so I'm going to have to delete one. Oops. Delete. I'll delete both of them, I don't care. And create a database. I'll just type WP for WordPress and type a password. Create database. And these are all your, uh, this, is, this is your information for the text file you're editing on the left side. So WordPress wants to know what your database name is. So it says define database name, database name here. Uh, it says MySQL database. MySQL is the name of the database program. So MySQL database here, copy that without the quotes. Uh, define database user, uh, MySQL user right here. Copy that with the quotes. Define database password. Uh, your password is right there. Define database host. Local host uh, could work on many different systems, but with this uh, site, you're going to need to copy the MySQL host. There you go. You can save that, and you're done with the text editor. So these files right here, this one you just edited. Uh, these files, this makes up your WordPress site. So in FileZilla, this is how you connect to your site to transfer files. Open the site manager and create a new site. Uh, you can just name your site there. Um, your host, you're, you're going to want to get all this information from 000 web host too. Domain name right there, that's going to be your host. Log on type normal, username right underneath your uh, domain name. Password is the one that you made when you when you signed up. But if you need it, you can just hit go again, change account password, and enter a new password. It's been uh, updated. It'll change in a few minutes, but actually it's probably changed already. Click connect, and you should see this. Um, now this part will only show up after your domain registrar has updated your uh, information. So you might not be able to log in right now. Uh, but once it has done that, typically in a couple hours to a day or so, uh, you'll see this. So don't upload anything here as this file shows. Uh, double click on public HTML and this isn't exactly what it's going to look like for you if you've just started a new account. But if you have any files, that's where it will basically be. Now to install WordPress, you can go back to your WordPress files. Um, right now you can just copy these all over uh, into the blank white space here and it'll copy it into your public HTML. So that'll be your default page. So since my website is bearnews.org, if I type bearnews.org, it would just that'll just show up the WordPress site. Um, I've actually created a directory called WordPress uh, to put all my WordPress stuff, but you can also have whatever directory you want, portfolio, test blog, anything you want. So I'm going to go in there. Um, so I've already up, I've already uploaded all the files, uh, so that's basically all I did was take everything, 
drag it over, and that was it. But I just uh, in this example, all I all I have to upload is this WP config. So I'm just going to make sure that that's the updated one, so that'll work for this example. And you can go back to this page um, again. If you're able to do that, you should be able to see your site by now. WordPress installation page. So really, you've only transferred the files, but you haven't installed it yet. Uh, you can type in your site title, your username, if you want to change it for admin, doesn't matter. Uh, type in your password, right, that's the weak one. Uh, type in your email, so I'll show you how to make an email account. If you go back to 000 web host, that control panel, um, go to manage email accounts, and you can type in whatever email account you want. I've already created a hello at bearnews.org, which is typically what a lot of websites do. Uh, and again, it's just type the email and your password, hit create, and it's done. You can enter your web email here. Um, and you should be able to forward this to your Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail accounts too. Uh, if you go to email forwarders, yeah, address to forward and forward to email. I think I can just uh, punch that in and forward to a different email. So I can go back here and if I wanted I could make the domain name email address my default email address. Or I could use my Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo, whatever. Uh, allow search engines to index this site means that uh, you're allowing Google, Bing, and Yahoo, and all the others to uh, display your website in search results. So, you know, uh, you, you can change this after the fact. You could have this off. Um, then make sure your site is as good as it, you want it to be, and then you can select it afterwards. Uh, I don't really care, so I'm just going to select it and install WordPress. And there you go, it says success. You can log in, save password if you want. But log in with uh, the information you just put in. You can hit remember me if you want. Log in. Now from this point on, it's exactly like WordPress. There's a few other options, but basically this is um, what your WordPress account looks like. It's just now the difference is you have uh, your own domain account. And if you go to Appearance and Editor, you can edit some uh, you can edit some files that you wouldn't be able to um, in a basic WordPress.com site. So you can edit the style sheets. You can change um, different styles on a page, different backgrounds, different colors, different fonts, different everything. It's completely customizable at this point. Um, and you know, basically, you you might not want to start from scratch. You might not want to edit the 2012 um, template, and you probably don't. Uh, you can see that 2012, by the way, if you click on themes, 2012 is a theme that's created by the WordPress team. They also created 2011. So those two are on there by default. Um, you can, these are also two that I've already downloaded. And if you wanted to install others, you can hit install themes. Uh, click on you know featured if you want to see different featured ones, newest ones. Or if you want, you can search for one that you're looking for. So if you want to find a photography one, type photography, hit search, and these are different photography ones. This is one that I've downloaded already. Uh, all you do is hit the install now button and it'll install it and put it in your manage themes tab. Uh, if you want, you can upload one from a different site. And that's where I got this uh, elegant photography theme. Actually, I got it from bandeleydesign.com. Um, Let's see, I think it's ManageWP, ManageWP.com, they have uh, a lot of WordPress free themes. Here I just went to top photography themes, and that's where I got the elephant photo elegant photography one. Uh, you can click on demo and see what it'll look like. Um, and this is what it'll look like after you've uploaded photos to this. It won't look like that for me because I don't actually have any photos. Um, but yeah, this is what the site could look like um, if you, you know, upload files and want to treat it like this. But this is the basic layout that this theme would give you. So if you go to manage themes, um, so I'll show you. I'll show you the two of them here. Uh, if I activate um, Minimatica, there it shows that at the top instead of 2012. You can hit customize, and there it's showing just 
this because I only have, like, I don't have, this is the only post that I have. It's probably the only post that you would have too if you just started. Uh, there's no image, but I can change that if I change the uh, featured image on that post. Uh, you can set the title. It's not up automatically doing it. You could change header text. And there you go, it's updated. Change colors. I'm not sure how much this is going to work with a theme. A little bit. A little bit. So you can customize some things with the theme. Yeah, I know, it's pretty disgusting. You can put a background image. You can change um, a static front page or uh, your latest post. Uh, I'm not sure again how that's going to look in a theme like this, uh, but your latest posts will show all of your blog entries sort of thing. So this is a blog entry. This is the default one. Or you can have a static page which would just show, you know, whatever information, like welcome to my site sort of thing. So you can save and publish and close. Um, if you want to create new posts, I'm sure you already know how to do this if you've got a WordPress account of your own. Uh, pages. So pages um, would show up on the main on the main page if you click on menus here. You can create a new menu and that's where this menu here would come from. Home and uncategorized. And different theme options here, so you can change um, your home page to have a gallery or a blog. Again, gallery or blog, gallery or blog. And I think uh, when you create a post here, so there's the only post I have. I'm going to add a new one. And I think you can change the format here to a gallery format or an image. So if you just want to show one image, uh, gallery is multiple images, I'd say. And that's, that's this specific theme. So you can have a different theme. You go back to uh, Elegant Photography theme. Activate that one. You can hit Customize just to show. So it's, it's changed quite a bit. But all the content is still there. This is my post. This was my title. Uh, this is the only real... I, I haven't defined the menu yet, but that's the menu. And these are different widgets here. You can delete all those. Uh, but again, you can set all this stuff again. You can't set background, so that's a, a different thing for that theme. Um, but for this theme, you have uh, on the side it says slides and photographs, and different theme options here. So you can change general settings, um, a favicon, so you change this little blank page you can see at the top. You can define your own image for the for uh, the title there. Uh, photographs, you can. I don't really actually know what this would do, but you can uh, define galleries here. I assume slides is um, on the home page here. I think this is slides, and then this is a gallery. So you can update your own slides and photographs uh, in, in galleries, or posts and pages, and I'm not sure what this would look like either. Yeah, they don't have the... Um, different templates on the side there in this one. But after you've activated a new theme, you can just refresh and your website will look totally different. I'll show you how to do widgets too. But I think that's in WordPress too. So widgets, search, recent posts, recent comments, uh, archives, categories, meta. Recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, meta, search bar. So you can get rid of search bar or archives or meta and it's automatically saved I think. So just refresh. And yeah, they're all gone. And so that's uh, this particular theme. Again, you can download other ones. You can you can get them for free or you can purchase them. But basically, this is how to get uh, your own WordPress site with your own domain for only the cost of a domain. So you pay you know ten dollars for a domain name and you have uh, the WordPress uh, backend. So you can see this on. Uh, a mobile phone, a tablet, or a computer, all the same because it's not using Flash. And again, it's very cheap. I mean, you're only paying for the, for the domain name. WordPress is free. 000 web host is free. And um, a lot of the themes are free too.